Okay guys, hello and welcome back. There's currently 55 seconds left on my auction for this Patek Aquanaut 5167 on the steel bracelet. There's literally 47 seconds. It's currently at 42,000 pounds. There is a reserve on the watch just because I don't want it to go too cheap. It's currently a few thousand pounds below the reserve. I don't know if it's gonna actually hit it. There's 33 seconds now. Um, I've had 53 bids so far. I'm just hoping that, yeah, it, it hits the reserve. I don't know if it will. I am. Um, I'm actually quite nervous because if this doesn't, if this doesn't sell, it's going to be a shame because it's been a week of you know advertising this watch on the auction site watchcollecting.com. So here we go. Ten seconds. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's not going to sell. It's not going to hit the reserve. Mm, 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 mm. It's ended. I don't think it. I don't think it sold. Uh, okay, so it didn't sell. I I did think, you know, within the last like thirty minutes, it would it would do a little bit. It didn't do anything. Um, I think we're just going to speak to those that did bid, and we're going to see if um, you know we can come to a deal, maybe just offer the watch slightly under the reserve or a little bit under the reserve um, for people that didn't decide to bid, maybe because they didn't know what the reserve was, right? That could put someone off. So, um, you know, the reserve wasn't too much higher than 42,000 pounds. It really wasn't. So I thought I would creep over. Um, so for now it's not sold, but there still may be a buyer off the back of this. So not all hope is lost. But anyway, that's enough uh, watch related stuff for now. I actually have a 10,000 meter run race that I need to do now. So I need to go to Stratford. Uh, I need to get the tube across there uh, because yeah, I'm doing a 10K race. So let's see how I get on and I'll try to keep you updated. But for now, yeah, <sighs> see you soon. So, um, like I said, uh, I've got a 10K race right now in Stratford. You can see just to my left here, that is the finish line. I don't know if you guys care or not, probably not, but I'm gonna try run this in under 44 minutes, which is pretty average for me. I've done a, a lot quicker, but that's my, that's my target for today. I'm in Stratford doing a 10K race. I think there's like 500 runners. I've got my, uh, what do you even call that? My bib, my bib number, I've got my number. Um, I'm ready to go and you know, it's four laps, so it's 10K, it's 45 minutes, whatever. It's how hard can it be? Cut to me at the end of the video, struggling, crying. <laughs> I'm just taking the second L of the day. I ran it in 43.40, but I had to stop and walk. I got a stitch. It, like, if you guys have never run and got a stitch before in your abs, it is like the worst pain. I was thinking of David Goggins and I was like, don't quit. No matter how hard it, no matter how much it hurts, don't stop running. Don't quit. But I couldn't. I just like, I had to stop. I had to walk. So like, a k and a half to go, eight and a half k in. I had to walk, and I was barely running to the finish line. So actually, I would have run it in like forty-two and a half minutes. Second hour of the day. Bet you guys are loving this, aren't you? Anyway, um, tomorrow will be a better day. So, yeah. So I've got a couple more watches here that I do want to show you, but I've been thinking about this auction and I think I mentioned in one of my videos that someone was getting the watch really cheap at the moment and I, I think I made it sound like there wasn't a reserve and the reason for that is because at the time there wasn't. I put a reserve on the Patek because I didn't, I didn't, I, I can't afford to lose I don't know, 20, 30 grand. Now, if you've got half a brain, you can understand why I would put a reserve on. Um, so yeah, I, I put a reserve on the watch. Can you blame me? I don't think you can. But yes, I did say that someone was getting it at 20K, but then I was like, actually, no, that's really stupid. That's really poor business on my behalf. So I put a reserve on. Anyway, anyway, at this moment, that Patek is still available. You guys are welcome to come in and offer. It sold, well, it went up to 42 and it was a tiny bit under 
the reserve that I need to make this a viable sale. So if you guys wanna come in a little bit more than that, you're welcome to. Um, just let me know, DM me on Instagram. Now, the second thing I wanna talk about is, apart from these two new watches, my website is also up to date. I have new watches for sale and I have new prices for existing watches that I haven't sold yet and they are cheap. And when I say they are cheap, they are too good to not go and look at, okay? My website is in the description. Do take a look. Um, if there's anything else that you don't see there that you like, please do get in touch anyway because I'll be able to source that for you. Now, let's just get to the, let's get to the fun stuff, right? So I do have two new watches that I want to sell to you guys. Um, so I have a Rolex in a big box. What could that mean? And also I have an AP which is very exciting. We all like AP boxes. So I'm gonna put this to the side for one second. So this watch, uh, I have sold before. I sold this watch in the peak of the Rolex wave. Um, and this is a beautiful Yacht Master on Oyster Flex. Uh, and it's full rose gold. Um, yeah, it, so condition of this watch, the, the, the owner of it did wear it a little bit so it's not brand brand new i can't sell it as unworn or brand new but it's in like it's in excellent condition but you can tell on the clasp that it's been a war it's been worn a little bit right um but yeah absolutely absolutely amazing watch i'm just gonna i'm just gonna put it on right now this is a full set it has the box the papers all the tags um and as always i'm gonna be selling this at a really really good price so yeah, if you fancy a, a yacht master, do get in touch. So that is the first watch. I I really like this watch. It's underrated. It wasn't a popular watch. Maybe six, to, maybe twelve months ago, it was like the last watch you could get in an AD window. Like it was like it just wasn't a loved watch. But now, I think people start to appreciate rose gold a lot more, and then people start to look at what was still available at the AD. And this one was one of the last ones that you could get. So, yeah, beautiful, beautiful watch. I have all the all the paperwork here. Yeah, it's a 2022, by the way. So it is still a very, very new watch. Um, so that is available. Please do DM me if you're interested. Now, I'm excited about this. I really want to show you this AP. Um, I have sold an AP before in the past, but this, hopefully, if when it sell, if when it sells, it will be the second watch. This is an AP Royal Oak full steel and it's a black dial, but this is a chronograph. I've never sold a chronograph AP before. Um, this is a 2016, it is a full set, it has all the paperwork, the manual, the box, um, and like with the Yacht Master, this is a worn watch. So the owner of this one as well also did wear this. I mean, how can you not? Um, but it's, fa it's fantastic, it is a fantastic watch, and I think had you have bought this three to six months ago, you'd have paid maybe 10, 15K more than what this is now worth. So in my opinion, this watch and the Yacht Master are both priced at probably the lowest they're ever gonna be, unless there's a like a phenomenal dip in price, but which I can't see that happening. So this AP Royal Oak Chronograph is available and I'm really excited to be able to sell this to you guys. I really, really am. Like I always say, if you're interested, let me know. Send me a message on Instagram, or underscore watch life. Uh, and hopefully, hopefully we'll come to uh, a deal on price. But yeah, what else do I, I'm just thinking what else I have for sale. I have a Date Just 41 Smooth Bezel Oyster Bracelet as well, which is like 7750, which is really cheap. Uh, and I also have a 36 millimeter Date Just Jubilee Fluted Bezel Mint dial so the new rolex mint dial so that is also available i'm going to pick that up on monday so also do let me know if you're interested but yeah i mean what 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 what's the conclusion from this video what is the conclusion the conclusion is i'm having a great time this is good fun that's pretty much all it is for me i'm trying to offer you guys good watches that's my aim so uh, yeah, hope you're good guys, hope you're happy, and uh, yeah, I'll see you very soon, bye bye.